looks like the sand in this color is about three inches and then we've got another couple inches of soil and then peat and then the debris from the from the water on top at this location of this video that's all about the peat not peter peat peat moss this is a five three and a half earth cache one of only 17 in the world Miscou Island is a Canadian island in the Gulf of St. Lawrence at the northeastern tip of Gloucester County, New Brunswick. The name Miscou Island comes from the Mi'kmaq Suscou, meaning lowland or boggy marsh. It forms an admirable descriptive name for the most striking fact about the physical geography of Miscou is the prevalence of open bogs. This is one of three locations you need to stop for for this cache. You need to look at the exposed surfaces. Yeah, at each location there's about four or five questions. And then uh, you su submit those to the CO for credit for an earth cache. On this day, we're finding this earth cache on International Earth Cache Day 2022. And as we said before, this is a five, three and a half earth cache, and there are only 17 of them in the world, and only two in Canada. One here in New Brunswick, the other in Nova Scotia. And there are only four in the United States. One in Texas, two in California, and one in the panhandle of Alaska. That's how rare this earth cache rating is. And this is our first one. This region offers a unique fall color experience due to the blanket of peat bogs. Their scarlet color emerges late September or early October and lasts for a couple of weeks. We had arrived at just the right time. grade to the beach here is a lot flatter than the last area and there seems to be more sand all around. I think it's time to go for a swim. A bit cold for that but we got our answers for location B and our last location is coming up. It looks like the beach here. We can see the peat underneath our feet. Time and the tides are now of the essence for our second earth cache. And we've got four and a half hours to get there before it could be too late.
she's deep in thought. <laughs> I'm typing the answer for ah. our for our earth cache. Oh, awesome! Now that was a long drive, and we had the time of our arrival at just the right time because we wanted to make sure we arrived here at low tide. Low tide for this specific date we're here was at 5.15 and it's now 5.40 I think. So we're just a little bit past uh, low tide and uh, so far you, if we look at the water it just looks like the river is flowing down. It doesn't look yet, yeah, maybe just a little bit where the water is starting to push back on the current. And that's it. That's all? That's it. And that is a four and a half, three and a half. Yeah, this is a pretty spectacular spot. It's really fun to watch the water. The water's a reddy brown color, mm -hmm. almost like the sands in PEI. Yeah. And uh, guess what else? What? That is the very last square Woo! that we need. For our fizzy grid earth cache. Yes. So here's the celebration. Yes! All right! Woohoo! Yeah! Okay, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, that was good. That's fantastic. We've got a full fizzy grid now oh, it's, with earth caches. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. And it started off, uh, I don't know how many years ago now, I started off with a one-third fizzy grid challenge. And he said, yeah. I wonder what it would be like to get it all filled mm -hmm. up. And this is it. So yeah, I, I took a look at all the specific ratings that you could do and where they all were and the places that we needed to go and just made it happen. One earth cache at a time. And these last two are in a Halifax. So. Yeah. And uh, we've inspired a few people to go on ahead of us. We should have done this uh, about two years ago, but uh, unfortunately there was things some happened. things happened and we weren't able to get it until now. So where are you? Are you working on any fizzy grids? So there you go. Next up, I think we're going to start working on, well, we're working on the multi fizzy grid and yes. we'll see where we can get with the virtual fizzy. Yeah, that is I, even harder. I don't know if it's possible yeah. to get it all. I think yeah. I think there's one person that has it. It's possible, and we, uh, one of our patrons, Vince and Kath, they are very, very close to completing their mm -hmm. virtual fizzy grid, and we'll be there when they do. Yep, that'll and be we'll, fun. And we'll take you with us. Keep watching. There's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you? Halifax, mm -hmm. New Brunswick. Happy Earth caching. <laughs>